Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session the Friday, 21st September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of the markets, uh, exactly where they're headed and where they're positioned at present, good question. Okay, uh, US markets certainly have ripped higher, as, you, as we've seen uh, breaking through that key 2916 zone on the S&P 500, if it does bring up that, that uh, index. Now, really, is that a breakout or a fakeout? That's the question, okay? As you can see here in the daily chart, breakout, but it's left multiple gaps behind. Now, one of the most prolific ones is at 2855, then you've got 2888, and then the one that we've seen yesterday is 2906. So, even with the Chinese concerns in the background, going into midterm elections as well in the US, and we've got this uh, pillock of a, of a president, really, the pillock in chief, Mr. Mr. Trump. So, it really is uh, baffling, folks, okay? Um, all I can say, I mean, use that American term because uh, really Americanization of the world uh, at present. Uh, again, it's very, very um, disturbing from my perspective anyway. It's uh, very strange. Uh, I can't really align fundamentals with the uh, technicals at present because that's the status quo. Adding the fact that we've got emerging market chaos, we have India down overnight, I think, down 6 7%. The Turkish situation still in the background as well. That's certainly been lurking. Italian situation, still uncertainty regarding its deficit there. And obviously, we've got Brexit chaos as well with Miss uh, Theresa May, the um, imbecile again. That's another imbecile. Really an incompetent fool, really. She's been an uh, unelected, unelected uh, individual. Uh, really no concept of democracy there at all. And uh, really, it's more of a uh, damage control policy where her proposition got rejected. Uh, and she was um, made to um, look like even more of a pillock than she is. So... It really isn't looking good at present, okay, in terms of Brexit. We've got idiots uh, guiding us at present. Uh, no intelligence, no sort of uh, hindsight, foresight. It really is it's a shame at present, okay. So uh, on the, in that, back, on that well, given that backdrop, stock market's higher. Hence the reason why I'm even more confused. Either way, that's the status quo. We just have to respect it. All the analysts, all the economists or indicating a trade war obviously equals negative uh, for the stock market. Adding um, fuel to the fire is uh, the economic data this morning in terms of uh, European PMIs all coming in on the weaker side. Okay, uh, Euro obviously currently approaching 1.18, obviously is hurting the uh, export sector. We've got GDP numbers in France and MIG at 0.2%. I mean, that's pathetic, 0.2%. really is shocking. Uh, German PMIs, uh, French PMIs, and European PMIs all more overall on the downside and therefore risk aversion. We still have concerns regarding Brexit, obviously the chitter chatter there, and hence the reason why we're seeing a lot of volatility with the FTSE, even with weaker, obviously stronger inflation data, uh, stronger retail sales. One would indicate obviously a rate hike and therefore the uh, sterling expect, expected to move higher, which in turn obviously forces the FTSE 100 lower. Now, the only thing that's actually helping equities at present is copper and um, crude oil. Copper mainly due to the Chinese infrastructure spending and uh, helping the housing market to a large extent. Stimulus there expected and then hence the reason why commodity quantities are doing well to a, to a large extent there. Okay, so let's look at the German DAX. Let's see exactly where we are now. The German DAX and the 10-minute chart are ripping higher, approaching that gap fill. Uh, putting in a topping tail today, so it certainly looks like it certainly is exhausted from that potential short squeeze down below at 11,900. It has been a prolific run. Given the fact that Euro obviously is approaching 1.18, that will obviously hurt German equities, in which in turn obviously indicates risk aversion. Hence the reason why I have a bearish bias. Now, we certainly pushed higher, quite an impressive run uh, or a thrust at that, okay? So you have to respect that potential thrust for now, okay? So uh, that key resistance is being held there. You've got unfilled gap below as well, so watch out below from that perspective on the German DAX. Moving on to the French CAC, let's give you an insight here as well. French CAC, very impressive thrust as well, help, being helped mainly due to the, um, obviously, commodities. Uh, the key resistance at 3,500, I was expecting gap fill to hold at 5,480. That hasn't been the case. We've ripped high again, and we've pushed higher into that previous gap there, okay? So that certainly has closed around the 5,500 level. So you are looking at resistance there, folks. If we use our uh, diagonal trend line, uh, one would have expected key resistance to hold, and that hasn't held, uh, hasn't held at all. It's actually pushed higher. So, therefore, we have to negate that trend line for now. Okay, and just have to respect the actual potential move. Okay, now, in terms of um, the other trend line, you can certainly take this pivot high. This is another trend line to watch out for. Okay, so, again, if you do push higher, that will be your key diagonal resistance. Okay. French CAC certainly under resistance. Uh, 10 minute chart clearly shows gap fill below at 5450. Certainly looking to target that on the downside in the French CAC. 
In terms of the FTSE 100, again, we're just oscillating now. Really are in no man's land to a large extent. I mean, you've re re retraced up 50% so far. I was expecting this diagonal trend line to certainly hold. That hasn't been the case. We're into Fib 50% now, potentially even touching Fib 61%, which is 7477. So watch out there. 60 minute chart on the FTSE. Again, you've got previous support equals resistance. So certainly looking for this zone here to hold. Certainly pushing higher. If you do break above that, then you are looking at the next potential level to come into play at 7525. So let's see if this market can uh, certainly uh, go into that zone. Now, I'm certainly not expecting that, given the fact that we've got concerns uh, regarding uh, Ms. May being uh, utterly humiliated with regards to a checkers plan, certainly being rubbish and thrown away. And it's a woman who doesn't really have a plan and doesn't have any idea what she's doing, really, from my perspective. And I said that from the start. Uh, Tory party, unfortunately, are a bunch of imbeciles at present. It may let's hope the situation improves for the sake of the country, but I can't see that. I can't see any talent, can't see any wisdom. Um, really, a bunch of idiots. Okay, uh, and uh, what makes it even worse, they're fighting amongst themselves like little uh, kids. So uh, that certainly isn't uh, doesn't bode well for the stock market at all. Okay, so again, we've broken out of this key zone at seven three twenty. Markets obviously ripped higher on the back of the U.S. equities pushing or ripping higher as well. So quite an impressive thrust at that. 10 minute chart on the uh, the FTSE again I was looking for gap fill to close at 7370 given the fact that we've got uh, Brexit shambles okay Brexit disaster Brexit shambles so uh, let's see if we can obviously pivot towards that copper obviously is helping oil is helping the FTSE to a large extent okay so let's uh, let's see how the market trades there in terms of the euro stocks last but not least give you an insight there uh, quite has been quite an impressive run the euro stocks as well given given the fact that we've closed that gap at uh, uh, 3 4 30 so quite an impressive thrust at that okay daily chart has actually even exceeded fib 75 percent i certainly wasn't expecting that okay especially given the fact that mr draghi was hawkish and eurozone data relatively is, is a weak at present okay so that's basically a status quo let's see what the rest of the day brings as you're aware the uh, economic data for the rest of the day we have um, uh, pmi data from the us and again general headlines with regards to Trump, trade war concerns in China, etc. Please be sure to visit cfds.com, take advantage of that bonus and be sure to download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye now.